Rio Foster, Angels uh, prospect. I want to kind of go back a little bit, Rio, to the draft. I know it's been a year since, but what do you remember about the draft and, and that third day and when the Angels called your name? Uh, well, they told me the day before that uh, they was going to think about picking me up, so I had to stay by my phone. Um, I actually missed the first call, but <laughs> I picked it up, and then he told me. He was like, we're about to take you. So just get ready, and yeah, pick up. And it was Darlington, right? Is your it was mm-hmm. uh, is it Darlington JC or USC Darlington or uh, it's Florence Darlington? Florence, junior, uh, junior, well, technical college, honestly. Right. So I mean, and the reason I bring it up is because there's not a a, a massive baseball f- uh, track record from Florence Darlington, right? It's you know it, there's obviously successful baseball mm-hmm. players, but it's not something that it's not an SEC school an ACC school. So coming from Florence Darlington and being able to come into pro ball. What does it say about uh, the program in itself, just starting with that? Uh, well, the program is is really, really good. Um, I went there, and to be honest, I wasn't even going to start. The, like, the very beginning, I wasn't even a starter. So that should say how, how good the players are just that. And um, and they they got an amazing track record. They don't send many, like, MLB guys, not ML, like draft guys, but – Almost everyone's D1, D2. It's in a lot of great college players. So, and the track record is really good. Top one of the best uh, winningest JUCOs and out of out of everybody. So, that's wow. a sale out right there. Um, kind of going through your first year of pro ball, that first uh, you know two months or so of pro ball, and then into this year, um, starting in Arizona. What was it that kind of clicked for you in Arizona at the start? At the start, I honestly did really bad. I was like striking out all the time, didn't do much. And I just needed like an adjustment, really, of just saying like, I'm in pro ball, I'm here, it's time to work. And the first year wasn't the best, but come spring training next year, it, it clicked, uh, clicked faster than I thought about that. Yeah, and what were the adjustments that you made? I mean. It- were you swinging long or, or were you chasing or was it just something that um, it was a mental or was it actually something like swing wise that you I, had kind of had to do? I definitely think it was mental. It was definitely mental. Uh, I, on the off season, I got with my hitting guy, Cam with uh, KSM, my agency. And really it was just, I would say we worked physical, but it was just more mental. Like the game's so mental, you just gotta be mentally focused every pitch every at bat and I think that was just the biggest thing the mental the mental side of it for sure and for each level you go up obviously the pace kind of picks up mm-hmm. um you know you're hitting almost near 400 you have an OPS over one at this point what was it about coming to the Cal League and, and single a baseball that, that clicked immediately for you to kind of have the success that you're having right now uh I don't I don't really know I just Honestly, I was I just came here and I was just focused on competing, just competing, competing. Just don't think anybody's better than you. Think you're the best player every every at bat. So I was just really just coming up here to compete. Honestly, that's that's the biggest thing. I was just wanting to compete, compete, and it's been showing up. And and being a younger guy, uh, I believe you're 21 years old. So 21 years old, and you've got guys against you here in the Cal League that are 23, 24 years old, have uh, you know three, four years experience of pro ball under the belt. To be able to compete against guys that not only have the, that experience but also that talent and have success with that, what is that like uh, as a as a young pro ball player? Um, well, it feels good, but but honestly, I, I mean, I don't really think about that. I mean, they put on their pants just like I do. They do everything just like I do. So. Really, once you get on the field, all that doesn't matter. It's just compete and just beat the guy in front of you. Just be better than the guy in front of you. And uh, have the Angels told you anything about maybe the next six months into the winter before spring training next year, like instructs or, or what their goal is for you over the winter possibly? Um, well, well, I know I'm going to instructs. Uh, um, and then... Outside of that, I'm pretty sure we'll talk against Chuck. All right. So, well, thank you very much, Rio. Thank you.